welcome to Katie Picks. Now it's got a little bit cooler for us here in the UK and I don't know about you but I love nothing more on a wintry cold night than having a bowl of soup. And one of my favourite soups is minestrone but it does take quite a while, all the dicing and the sautéing and the cooking off and you know me, I like a cheats recipe. So this is a super speedy minestrone in minutes recipe I hope you enjoy. Let's get started. So I've got a nice deep pan on the hob. I'm going to pop that onto a medium heat. And to that, I'm going to add one litre of vegetable stock. So this is also a vegetarian recipe, so feel free to get involved, all you veggies out there. And then we're going to add one tin of chopped tomatoes, which is about 400 grams, and that's going to go in as well. So we're going to season that up at this point. We're going to just use a pinch of salt, not too much because you've got this quite a salty stock. And then we're also going to use a pinch of black pepper, which is just gorgeous. Lovely. Now at this point, as I say, you'd be spending ages doing all your sautéing, getting lovely colourisation on your, on your veggies and just trying to get them all cooked through. But this is where the cheats part comes in. And as I say, every person who is Italian out there is going to be going, oh my God, how dare you? It just tastes really good. So yeah, okay, it's possibly not minestrone, but it still tastes really nice. But we're going to add in 300 grams of frozen veggies. Now, these veggies are up to you. So they could be a packet of frozen veggies from the veg aisle. It could be the leftovers from the roast that you had on Sunday that you've just then stuck in the freezer. And we're going to bung those in for a lovely chunky minestrone soup, beautiful. Some onions, some courgettes, some peppers, some tomatoes. Whatever you guys fancy, just chuck it in there. And then we're gonna leave that, we're gonna give it a nice little stir. And we're gonna leave that to sit on our hob for 10 minutes, bring it up to a boil and then drop it down to a rapid simmer and I'll come back to you in 10. Lovely, so that's had about 10 minutes on the hob. All the vegetables have softened. It started to reduce quite nicely. And to that, we are now going to add some Savoy cabbage. Beautiful stuff, look at it. Oh, I washed it. So I'm going to add in about three or four leaves of Savoy cabbage, I think. And just really nicely, thinly sliced into strips. And as you can imagine, this recipe as well is just so wholesome and good for you. Good for your body, doing beautiful things. So we're going to pop that straight into the pan as well. Lovely. And then we're also going to add in a tin of cannellini beans. Now these have been rinsed and drained. You can also add in velotti or kidney or whatever beans you fancy. But they're going to go in there as well. In fact, I'm going to add, I'm going to add a whole tin because I'm feeling feeling wholesome, feeling like my insides need a little bit of TLC. And then what is minestrone without pasta? I've got 100 grams just from the cupboard. This can be of any pasta of your, of your choosing or basically whatever you have left. And I'm just going to crush that up into little pieces. I've just got a mix here of whole grain, whole grain, whole meal, wholesome. The brown spaghetti and the white spaghetti. <laughs> Lovely. And then that's going to go into there as well. Beautiful. All that's left to do is to give that a really nice stir. And then you are going to cook this through, keeping it on quite a nice high heat for another four or five minutes, just so we can soften up that pasta, soften up that cabbage and warm up those beans. And then your minestrone is ready to go, homie. <laughs> so there you have it. It is looking beautifully soupy. So you've got a lovely, thick, opaque colour to your soup, which is what we want. We don't want a watery soup. Nobody wants a watery soup. We've also got gorgeous soft veggies and that pasta is cooked al dente, which is just how I like it. I am going to do one check for seasoning. It's final. Don't mind if I do. Right, so all that's left to do is to serve yourself up a beautiful, hearty bowl of speedy, minestrone soup. Oh, yeah. Look at that. 
with a gorgeous crusty loaf. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And I'm just going to top that off with a nice spoonful of pesto. Now, if you are vegetarian, obviously feel free to leave this bit out, but I just really like this on my minestrone. So a little spoonful of pesto on there and a generous grating of delicious Parmesan cheese all over the top. And all that's left to do is have a munch. I don't know why you'd slave over a stove for hours when it tastes that good in 10 minutes. It's just delicious. Got so many levels of flavour there. A beautiful sharp and sweet flavour from the tomatoes and all those vegetables working together for one damn delicious dish. I hope you guys give this a go and love it as much as I do. If you've given it a try, why not leave a comment? And if you want to watch more from me, then I'm here every single Tuesday. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Bye!